Welcome to our R programming tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many data analysts encounter when working with regression models. Our viewer asks, how can we handle vectors of different lengths in PER while running multiple regression models? Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To handle vectors of different lengths in PER, we can utilize the map function effectively. First, let's define our outcomes vector, which includes both MPG and QSEC. Next, we will modify our existing code to incorporate this outcomes vector. We'll use the map function to iterate over both the outcomes and the predictors simultaneously. Inside the nested map function, we will create the model formula dynamically for each combination of outcome and predictor. This allows us to fit the models without using loops. Finally, we will ensure that the output is tidied and includes the necessary columns. The result will be a data frame that combines the results for both outcomes across the different predictors. By following these steps, we can efficiently handle multiple outcomes and predictors in our regression analysis using PER without the need for traditional loops. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To handle vectors of different lengths in PER, you can use the map to function along with some preparation using interaction. First, define your predictors and outcomes, then calculate the total number of models needed. Set up your formulas and groups accordingly, and finally, apply the map to function to fit your models. Here's a quick look at the code. Start by defining your predictors and outcomes, then calculate the total number of models. Use interaction to create formulas and split your data into groups. Finally, fit the models and tidy the results. The final output will give you a tidy data frame with the results, including estimates and confidence intervals for each term across different cylinders. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. I hope